Hi, my name's Jason, and I'm now going to show you how to get the best and understand your aqua valve and how it works. So if you come down here, this is the aqua valve 5 that we sell at the moment. Sometimes they change colour. Sometimes um, we change colour, we change the body colour every now and again, but the design is exactly the same. For the purpose of the video, I'm going to show you an aqua valve 5 in clear so you can see the actual workings of it. So firstly, to just understand it, the top float should always remove from right to left or left to right. Never try and take it out or put it in and clip it because you could potentially break this point here. So always lift it up at 90 degrees and slide from right to left and left to right. There's a silicon in here. This should always be pushed in as far as you can push it in, like so. And then the bottom float can be clipped like so and then always make sure that the bottom silicon, which is larger, if you see the difference in the size, the bottom float is, or bottom silicon in the bottom float is much larger. You can see the difference there. And then the aqua valve nozzle. You do have two little circular discs on here. They can be easily removed. You can just use a pair of pliers. It's easily put in the, um, in the dishwasher Always remove the silicons first, and then you can take everything apart and put it in the dishwasher. The first thing you want to do when you get your aqua valve is make sure that this top silicon is pushed in correctly. So like I said, you push it in with your thumb as far as it'll go, and then the important thing is, if you come up here to my eye level, so what you want to do is ensure that that silicon is making a parallel seal with this hole here. The more you push it in, the lower the level of, of, of the flood level of the water. So I've now got it at eye level and I'm completely happy that that silicon is pushed in as far as it'll go and it's making a parallel seal with the hole below. If I do this for example, and the silicon's not pushed in properly, then the aqua valve will only flood and it won't completely drain. It's important that that seal is created like so and by pushing it in you make sure that it only floods to 20 mil which is roughly halfway on this black collar and then it will flood to 20 mil and then completely drain so now you only need to do this once and now your aqua valve is ready to be put into your system we're now going to show you how to maintain or or clean your aqua valve at the end of your growing season so if you come back down here again so at the end of the season, it's important that you clean your aqua valve. Don't, don't leave it till the following season and then, and then clean it. Clean it at the end of the season because otherwise or any sediment that's built up on the aqua valve will just sort of calcify and make it more difficult to remove. So lift the top float up, remove it, remove the silicon, remove the bottom float, remove the larger silicon, Take the locking nut off and then remove these caps. If I use the pliers here. So that's now ready to put in the dishwasher. It's dishwasher safe, it's ABS material. So what you can do is put it in the dishwasher or if you haven't got a dishwasher you can just clean it either with a toothbrush, clean it all around. Don't worry of the staining on the aqua valve and you find it difficult to remove. It's not going to deter or hinder the way that the aqua valve works. The most important area for the aqua valve to be cleaned is this area here and inside here. So what I would recommend is that you use either a pipe cleaner or a wooden skewer to push through there and then take a toothbrush with a bit of soap on it and clean all inside and around and around this nozzle and make sure it's all nice and clean and on the inside as well. You can use a, a sponge or a, 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 a sort of soft Brillo pad, the green and the yellow Brillo pads, and then simply either out of the dishwasher or put it back, back together. Simply slide it back through, insert your top float silicon, push it back in as far as it will go and obviously hold it at eye level again or you can do that in the, when you come around to the next season. Put the bottom float 
or bottom silicon in the bottom float, make sure it's pushed in nicely. And then put the caps back into the top float. One thing that is important to remember, when you're putting your silicons back in, always make sure <coughs> that the cavity that they're sitting in is dry. If you try and push silicons into the cavity when they're wet, the water will just push them back out again. So it's always important that you um, make sure that the cavities are dry. You can leave it to dry you know, over the next coming months until you're ready. It's entirely up to you and the water will have evaporated. But that's really all you need to do to maintain your aqua valve. Uh, that area is the most important area. Push it, push through with a pipe cleaner or a wooden skewer and clean on the inside and then that'll be ready for the next season. And that's really all you need to do to maintain your aqua valve in, in preparation for the following season.